Woohoo! Wow! Hello, Leos! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the week of August 16th, 2018 Love and Romance reading. Uh, I was just pulled to do this mostly because I have a lot of people who I know would be interested in this information. This is a reading about something that someone is thinking about, okay? What is that other person thinking about when it comes to their connection with and to you, Leos? Okay, so I was just shuffling the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild, and somehow, for some reason, number 20 jumped out. So to me, two plus zero is two. This is about two people. This could very well be about a partnership. We have the sweet soul rising energies. Now, I'm going to quick look this up and have it on hold here to refer to in a short while. But in the meantime, the energies that I have been feeling from both this and the Lenormand spreads in front of me, I feel as though the person's energies I'm pulling uh, had received a lot of recognition and attention in this last chapter of their life. Uh, their heart is opening up more to love and romance and passion because of something that may come to a quick and swift ending. It could be that this person's heart was really into a passionate connection and yet after a lot of attention from maybe a masculine energy, um, it left this Leo I feel like feminine energy doing research, trying to figure out what is this connection about. All right, so that's just in the next couple days. Now in the next three, four days or so from watching the video, you do have the compass energies here in the ship. Do I travel? Do we travel? Do we move into a new direction? Do we bring an ending to an old chapter tied to my heart? Um, I see a lot of rebirth taking place for this Leo energy because of the fish energies telling me that there is financial abundance and security. So somebody may have come into some money or they're using their money to make their wishes come true and it's making them feel reborn. Kind of like a kid again, all over again, maybe after a retirement and etc. So in the outcome position by next weekend, we have that rebirth, something tied to finances and abundance, finding that the clouds are blowing away and the sun is coming out and the wishes that we've been making are finally coming true in some way for this Leo energy. So this oracle brings you uh, from this uh, Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. I'm going to read from the book to give credit to Alana Fairchild. Surrender and flow. This is not the time to assert your will and try to make things happen no matter how much you may want to or believe that you should. Sometimes we have to let go of our expectation of how that bigger plan will be achieved and just let it happen. Okay, or we're going to stag stagnate our energies and feel stuck. Trusting that it will actually take place, even without us striving to make it so, now is one of those times. So know that through your prayers and divine timing, everything is happening as it should. As you move, as you travel, everything is flowing absolutely beautifully. Okay, so... Such patience is born with time's insight. My soul doth burn in ember's light and savors fresh and moist and ripe. The gift of love when it is right. So Spirit's saying, to clarify, when things are right, that is when they're going to take place. Now, if you are single, I feel the energies of receiving a lot of attention from a very attractive, passionate, masculine energy. Uh, this process had lit up your love and romance energies, Leos, and then came to some sort of a quick and swift ending. And now you guys, again, are thinking, should I travel back into that situation? Was it a karmic connection? I do feel like a connection someone had, yes, indeed, was a karmic connection, a soulmate, whatever you want to call it. I do believe that it is a blessing, not so much of a lesson. I feel like you guys are hoping, wishing, and praying, and that the sun is going to come out. Maybe by next weekend, you're going to get to the truth that you've been waiting for. Now, Leos, before I filmed your video, I pulled a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed And you guys received number 16. So to me, 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 is about a spiritual time, whereby which 
things may feel a tad bit challenging, like a decision, um, but this is just a time to slow down. It's a time to acquire the knowledge, like it says. It's a time to deal with any insecurity or insecurities you may have at this time and to watch for or don't overreact to the energies of manipulation. The Shadow Queen tells you that too many of the details hidden behind your circumstances is what is preventing you from moving forward quickly at this time, right? Because there's other people involved who are tied to other people and other organizations and so on. So everything has to kind of come together in a special way and that's where the divine steps in. She has come, the Shadow Queen, with a lantern to help shed light on what is concealed within you this week or your situation. Take the time to wait for more to be revealed. The Shadow Queen asks that you dig deep to gain strength and that you have the courage to ask someone in the know to shed light on your circumstances. She promises to send you that person. Beware of moving too quickly in the dark as you will likely trip up and fall and have to start again. So definitely this is a time, a week of patience and a week of letting your blessings come to you through your prayers, okay? You've done all you can do. Now, as a challenger, perhaps you're uh, falling prey to insecurity masked as elitism and arrogance, believing that you know best, to comparing yourself with others, or to being fearful and self-sabotaging. Whatever the case, it's time to take a fearless personal inventory and observe this week uh, what part of you play, that you play, what part of you play in the dramas and potential disasters in your life at this time. When you come to the place of humility, forgiveness, and grace, then you may proceed again and walk back into the light. There is great value and strength in facing your own shadows in the realm of the Shadow Queen. So it's a time of self-observation, right? Is this the right thing for me? Is this not the right thing for me? Should I make these wishes come true or should I just allow things to take place, right? Well, the path is pre-written, so we're supposed to let things take place as they should and accept either way that they turn out. But this particular connection seems to me that it is definitely going to turn out and you'll recognize that information as you are reborn next weekend. Uh, Deciding the direction of financial abundance or deciding the direction of a Pisces or someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. After doing some research, Spirit's going to open up this opportunity and you're going to be like, wow, I got what I wished for, right? Now, the person that uh, Leos are thinking of, I've already shuffled the cards and the card in the center of the circle spread is the Six of Wands. So this is about... <clears throat> What did I bring into my path through my worries and my fears? How do I succeed at this time? I know I need to let fall away. What needs to fall away is what this person is thinking. And in their thoughts, they're awful frustrated, maybe even angry because they haven't been able to let something go that maybe will be ending swiftly in the next couple days. I don't know if the Leo is going to bring this to a quick and swift ending or something's going to, something's going to change. I think in the world of the person you're thinking of, Leo, in their relationship sector, they have the temperance angel helping for them to heal in some way, to set new goals, to step into new exciting directions. The person you're thinking of, Leo, in their creative aspects position, whether well, creating a new home, a new business, a new location of sorts, and they're celebrating or they're eager to create a fun way to celebrate this new path. Now, Leo, the person you're asking about in their actions position are running away. It's almost like they're just ready to sweep away from what has been, to let things go, and to heal. So it may be selling an old house, coming out of a, a situation of sorts with a different perspective, yes. This Leo, you, uh, this person you're thinking of, Leo, they have some sadness and regret here. They love the attention. They see that this is a karmic connection, but their sadness and depression, they're up in their head. They want to create an opportunity to get to come together, pardon me, and have fun, but they're having a hard time 
letting go of the success that they have already created in their life. So Leos, in this person's subconscious, they want to reach out and have playful, fun connection. They want to play in that chapter to research the communication as they are healing, as they are trying to maybe let something go of that they're afraid to let go of. Leos, in this person's uh, practical day-to-day -day matters position, they do have the star card here as a major arcana. So Spirit's going to help for this person to make their wishes come true. Beautiful. And the person you're thinking of in their inner strengths position needs to step beyond their fears and see what a path could be like. To see what could happen if they finally just let go and allow for themselves to create new wishes for their future. So they may just be a little bit up in their head because they're hoping, wishing, and praying and things are taking too long. But eventually... <clears throat> The sun's going to shine on that path ahead. They're going to get the clarity that they have been looking for. So that may have been what's been holding them back relationship-wise somehow. So in a three-card summary to my right with the same tarot of the Hidden Realm deck, we've got the King of Cups. So the person you're thinking about is definitely listening to their intuition. They're definitely doing a lot of research. They're definitely dragging their feet or they're waiting for someone else who's dragging their feet when it comes to something about finances. With the Ace of Swords energies, it is a time for a new beginning. Spirit is offering this new path and they're just going to have to get excited, but wait, get clear about boundaries for sure or they got to get beyond the desire to have what they want when they want it type thing. The person that Leo is thinking of, they are uh, very financially abundant, secure, very independent, and they really like the passion. So they're trying to figure out if this is a manipulative, passionate connection or if this is a real connection. And that's why they kind of just brought it to an end. I think with the Ten of Wands here, they've gone a long distance with you in this connection and they're like oh my gosh I've been reborn I'm not real excited to get back into this I'm fine where I'm at I'm praying to spirit I'm hoping that a better future will unfold in time but right now they're feeling stuck right now they're just sitting and looking at things from every perspective right now they're looking at the ending of a situation and they're waiting for some sort of wish to come true but that process could hurt others involved. So Leo's the person you're asking about is saying to themselves by next weekend, I have the strength, see, to do what I need to do. To express the fact that, I guess to understand the fact that love isn't either coming from within them or coming out of you to a point where they can trust this new path ahead. It could be also that they're feeling like they're excited about the path ahead, but someone around them is walking in their shadow side. Someone around them, maybe you, Leo, are dealing with an addiction of sorts, an addiction to your shadow side, making incorrect decisions. And the person you're thinking of is saying, I want a happily ever after. I've been down this long path. I have been reborn like the phoenix. And yet I'm sad and depressed and regretful. Part of me wants to go back to work. Part of me wants to find something new to do after this. Hmm. So the person basically that you're thinking of, Leo, is focused on accomplishing something. They're making their wishes come true. They feel like they have a lot going on. Uh, this is a karmic connection. This is a connection that's supposed to be. And I think the positivity um, and excitement and answers that this person's waiting for could show up as soon as maybe the, I got 2nd, 6th, and 7th of September. So let's pull a clarifying message for the overall reading from the Oracle of the Mermaid's Deck by Lucy Cavendish, shall we? Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Leo with clearly defined messages. Thank you. Again, we had a card jump. 
And we had this before. Lemuria returns. Earthly spirituality, community, coming together with others to protect and become a family more, to come closer, to find the path that you're on is the one that you have worked for and you're very happy with it. Just It's like a week of waiting but knowing that a new chapter is starting. And there's a lot of excitement here this week. Somebody may be pregnant or find out they're pregnant. Hmm. Gosh, for someone it could be as soon as tomorrow. Wow. Do you know of this place? A place where the mother of all was loved and reversed where you were at one with the land, sea, and sky. Too much time in urban environments and insufficient connection with animals, countryside, and your wild true nature is what is going on. After the planets and people and creatures who still live very much in the old ways. Oops, all over the planet there are people and creatures who live very much in the old ways. You are being used, or urged to connect with them at this time, okay? Spirit's using you to connect and open your heart to nature, to animals, to pets, to fulfilling some sort of emptiness that's transpiring as you guys maybe locate from one direction into another, however that applies. So a time of sharing responsibilities and pleasures, meaningful gatherings, with codes and ethics, enjoying a great time of good health and of close nurturing friendships that respect individual boundaries and choices. Feeling less and less connected to the mainstream and more and more connected with the ocean, water, or earth. Beautiful things are being born in Leo's life at this time. The person could as well be your partner. Yes, they're just as excited as you are, waiting for the same answers as you are to travel or move. There will be a rebirth, maybe a reconnection in a partnership, Leos, where all of a sudden you can relax and acknowledge that the sun is shining, your dreams have come true, and everything is happening karmically with this karmic situation and connection as it should. All right? Thank you so much for stopping by. If you'd like me to pull your personal energies, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My prices are listed below, and I'm offering a summer special, which is a 15-minute video reading for $25. Just email me, provide me with your sun sign or your horoscope sign, same thing, and any particular questions or concerns by which I can meditate during your video. Thank you again for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.